home puts it best. Your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself. They come through you, but not from you. And though they are with you, yet they belong not to you. You may give them your love, but not your thoughts, for they have their own thoughts. You may house their bodies, but not their souls. For their souls dwell in the house of tomorrow, which you cannot visit, not even in your dreams. You may strive to be like them, but seek not to make them like you. For life goes not backward, nor tarries with yesterday. You are the bows from which your children, as living arrows, are sent forth. The archer sees the mark upon the path of the infinite, and he bends you with his might, that his arrow may go swift and far. Let your bending in the archer's hand be for gladness. For even as he loves the arrow that flies, so he loves also the bow that is stable. So Elizabeth, I never really owned you. <laughs> We raised you and we gave you guidance, and I can see by choosing Colin that the guidance we gave you has paid off. So, if everyone would grab a glass, and we'll teach you a phrase, a little practice round, like you're clearing your throat with a CH. Yes! Yes! <laughs> be here. So, the phrase is, look. If I hear the chime, there will be a hash bar. Those who can't <laughs> Have you been by me the whole time? Uh, I got another gig after this. <laughs> anyway, say it with me to Elizabeth and Colin. Uh -huh. <laughs>